Thousands of people in the streets of downtown L.A. joining a global demonstration in the solidarity with the people of Iran. Yeah, these protests continuing. This is weeks after the death of an Iranian woman while in the custody of the so-called morality police. Let's go to John Finolio. He joins us live from downtown L.A. He's got more on all of this. John? MB Rick, good evening to you. This was a peaceful and impassioned demonstration. It just wrapped up a short time ago here at Pershing Square. Demonstrators here say they are standing in solidarity with Iranians who are demanding the downfall of their authoritarian government. They march by the thousands through downtown LA. Demonstrators demanding an end to tyranny in Iran. We're here to be a voice for the people of Iran. We're here for regime change. Today's rally, one of dozens around the globe, fighting for women's rights in the oppressive Islamic Republic. We think we have it bad in, in America because of Roe v. Wade and whatever, but imagine not even being able to show your hair. Um, so just wanted to say, woman, life, freedom. The latest demonstrations are in response to the in-custody death of Masa Amini. The 22-year-old was arrested in Tehran on September 16th by the state's so-called morality police. Her crime? Not wearing her hijab or headscarf properly. Three days after her arrest, she was dead. Iranian authorities claim she had a heart attack. Witnesses say she was beaten to death. It's easy to be a superhero if you have superpowers. They don't have superpowers, but they're putting themselves in danger every single time they go out on the street. Since Amini's death, protests have erupted throughout Iran, many led by young women demanding change. Iranian authorities have cracked down, reportedly killing dozens of people. Thousands more have been arrested. They're killing people in the street right now. Southern California has the world's largest population of Iranians outside of Iran. Homa Esfarjani has called the U.S. home for decades. Before she fled Iran, three of her cousins were murdered by the state. They killed them because they had one, one newspaper and they killed, killed them and uh, that the next day they brought uh, their clothes and they said, okay, you have to pay for the bullet that they used to kill them. For reading the newspaper? Yes, for having the newspaper. The people of Iran are just fighting for simple things like freedom, democracy, human rights, a secular, you know, separation of church and state to be able to be free like us here in the United States. There were also protests in southeastern Iran today. Amnesty International says that dozens of people were killed. The death toll uh, has not been verified at this point. Uh, just a reminder that democracy doesn't come easy in Iran.